intrinsic minus and the intrinsic plus hand. In the intrinsic minus hand, the claw hand, you're going to see there is a hyper extension of the MCP joint with the PIP joint and the DIP joint flexed. And that's caused by the imbalance between the strong extrinsics and the weak intrinsics. So the strong extensor digitorum communis will cause hyperextension of the MCP joint. And the strong flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis will lead to unopposed flexion of the PIP and DIP joints. The claw hand or the intrinsic minus hand can be caused by Volkmann's ischemic contracture, by neglected compartment syndrome of the hand, by Charcot-Marie tooth disease, by leprosy, or failure to splint the hand in an intrinsic plus position following a crush injury. The intrinsic plus hand. That occurs because of the imbalance between spastic intrinsics and the weak extrinsics. The intrinsics put the hand in a position of writing, so the MP will be flexed and the DIP and PIP will be extended. So when there is weakness of the extensor digitorum crumbness, it will not provide the extension to the MP joint. So there will be imbalance, and the writing position will take over because the intrinsics are spastic. Also, the flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis are weak, so they don't provide flexion to the DIP and PIP. So the writing position, which is extension of these two joints, will take over because the intrinsics are spastic. So the patient cannot grip any large object, and because there is tightness of the intrinsics, we can do the Bunnell test for intrinsic tightness. Intrinsic plus hand can occur due to trauma or neurologic problems like cerebrovascular accidents or brain trauma. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.